The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Do you know what really puts you at risk for cancer and what's just fake news? We are here to separate the real risks from the bogus ones. Plus, we wanted to test our viewers and see if you can separate the real from the fake. So we asked which risk factors you're most concerned could cause cancer. You all ready to hear the results? Yes. First up, obesity. Only 12% of you were concerned about this as a cancer risk. And this one is real. Cancers associated with being overweight, obese, make up 40% of the cancer diagnoses in the US. Think about that. And here's why. Obesity can lead to chronic low-level inflammation in the body. Over time, that can cause damage to your DNA. What is cancer? That's when your DNA is off and those cells just keep growing, keep proliferating, and your DNA is damaged. Body fat is associated with an increased risk of 13 different types of cancer, everything from endometrial, liver, kidney, colorectal, bre breast cancer, gallbladder, pancreatic, and so many more, thyroid. So that's why we do shows like ours. Because when we say things like, look, losing some weight, if you're in the obese category, it's not about how you look at all. It's about health and being healthy because that 40% of cancers being caused by obesity in a country where the obesity rate continues to climb is a scary factor. Just There's another a reason scary to do your best and keep being your weight. And this, this next one is a real good one that I want you all to listen up. Microwave ovens somehow got a bad rap. And 56% of you that were polled said, yes, microwaves cause cancer. But that's false. According to the National Institute of Health, your microwave is safe. The uh, waves coming out of a microwave are non-ionizing types of waves, so they're not going to change your DNA and therefore are not potentially going to cause cancer. Yeah. So they don't use x-rays is basically what we're saying. So the wavelength is unlikely to cause that DNA damage. So last but not least is HPV or human papillomavirus. We asked and most of you believed it's linked to cancer but only 18% of you said it was a risk to be concerned about. This is a real risk. HPV is directly linked to multiple types of cancer. So we know that it causes 95% of anal cancers, 65% of vaginal, 50% of vulvar cancers, and the list goes on. The other big one that we're seeing a lot of now is 70% of oropharyngeal cancer. Right. So that cancer. comes from oral sex. So HPV, a, a real pre-malignant viral trigger for all those cells to start and, to multiply. And, so, and that's high. the cause for seeing increase in cancers in younger people due to the HPV. Yeah. And everyone thinks that if you have HPV, that it's obvious. Mm -hmm. Most people have been exposed to HPV. The reality is most people have no symptoms. And so your first symptom could be a cancer diagnosis. And that's why we always say be so very careful because it can be a sexually transmitted disease. We know people who've had more oral sex are at greater risk of the oral cancer. I think it's just one of those we got to pay attention. We have to know our risk factors. And I really like this segment. This has yeah, become one of my great. favorite segments because these are the things that can save you and save your life and prevent you from getting cancer.